Today we're going to be taking a look at Compromise. Now Compromise is a library for working with human readable text and converting it into machine readable text. So if you have ever passed a file before or worked with user inputs, you know that the natural human language can be pretty difficult for a computer to understand. Now this library comes in and tries to make that process a bit more easy. Now keep in mind that this is a very difficult problem and this library does fail a lot. You know, I would say that it fails more than it gets it right, but it is still able to do a lot. So I looked at this library a few months back and it has gotten so far and that was why I felt like it would be pretty good to make a video on it because I can see this is an active development and it just keeps improving. Now I'm just going to be showing you a few functions and then hopefully you can get the gist of it and I will then show you the documentation and go over some of the things in there and hopefully with all that information combined you can write some cool applications. Now first function here is a function where we'll get the people in the string and we'll then export them as JSON and then we'll show you a few other ways of exporting that data. So the way this works is that we have this NLP function which you will put your text in and it will then return an object which we can run a lot of different functions on. One of those are people which will give you all of the people in a string. The next function here is JSON and this will take the people that we just got and export that to JSON. Now and because we're in a console log we'll be able to see that JSON. So let me try to run this and you can see that we get the name Vincent and the name Bob. Now let's try to run this function instead of the JSON function. And you can see that we just get it in a text format. Now if you're doing some debugging, there's a debug one instead. And you can see that it shows you all of the information that it got about the people in the string. So you can see that it's a male name, it's a first name, and it's a person. So you can see it really goes in details. And you can use this information for maybe determining more if it's what you want. And I haven't done like a really deep dive in this. This is just scratching the surface because this is a very, very big library. And when you're done working with the library, there's a bunch of plugins for it as well. So it's a very, very big ecosystem. And it seems to be not a, that popular of a package, but actually the development seems to be really active. So let's quickly take a look at the next function here. So you can see that this gives you the topics. So that is what we are talking about in the string. And you can see that we get the first one here. And this will be a little bit more apparent if we use the JSON function. So if we just grab that. You can see that we get the name here and we get the city. Now, let's say you want to filter these formats or maybe you only want to do it when, let's say, it is China. So we can run this function here and you would put this right after either the people or the topics and there's much more functions than that. And you can see that this will only give you the first one. And if we do this one here, it will only give you China. So I hope that you can see how this is working. And you could of course also do this up here. So you could put it in and say, if it's Bob, then we wanna show the data. If it's not, then we don't want to. There's also a phone numbers function. So this is a function where this you would be able to do relatively easy in something like regex. But if you're already using this library for a bunch of other things, you might as well use this function. And it's pretty convenient that it's all in one package, but you can see that just extracts the phone number pretty easy. And our last one here is sort of like a combined one. So first we normalize the string, which means that we get rid of any special characters. So we will convert this character to a O. And the next one here is that we're going to be extracting out this $5 here. Uh, so it's a method for extracting money out of a sentence. And you see that this normalizes the string and gives us our $5. Now that was the code example. Let me just quickly show the library on NPM and some of the plugins. So the documentation on this is absolutely huge. So I'll just quickly scroll through it so you can see how big it is. But you can see if we slowly scroll through it, there is a bunch. And you can see a bunch of things quite a lot. And this is just a library. Then there's all the plugins as well. 
There you go. You can see that there's a lot of functions. I can't possibly cover all of them, but if you want me to do a video where I cover more of the functionalities, then please comment down below. But let's try to take a look at some of the plugins. So the first one here is the number plugin. So you can see that this extracts out the word 17 from the string here. So you can see very powerful and there's a bunch of different ways of doing this and it can really powerful library for working with numbers. And then this one here, I find it pretty odd, but it's really cool. So you can see that this takes in a string and then it you can run this HTML function on it and you do person plus red money plus blue and this will construct HTML and it will give the class to the different things. I just find that really, really cool. And by the way, up here, you can see the way that you extend the library. You can see it's, it's very easy. It's one line and then you have the functionality of the plugin. And then this last one here is a paragraph function. So it will scan through a string and it will extract all of the paragraphs, which you can then do whatever with. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully see you in the next one.